Recent violence against first responders in the line of duty brings a harsh reality to people on the force and their families. Our Pepper Baker joins us live from the St. Louis Metropolitan Police Department headquarters with more on how it's taking a toll on the department. Pepper. And it's been a tough time for the St. Louis Metro Police Department with two of their officers injured in a car crash on I-64 on Monday. And now two of their officers were shot in the line of duty today. Emotions are running high as our first responders band together, hoping their own will pull through. I'm asking for the public to pray uh, for our officer. But this is a rough, this is a rough time. St. Louis Metropolitan Police Chief John Hayden struggling to hold back tears as he discusses how two of his officers were shot in the line of duty. We're hearing about critical incidents daily and it's just tough, you know, I mean, hey, officers out here working hard, you know, hey, they're doing everything that they can to keep people safe and we keep having uh, these critical incidents. Law enforcement officers and employees gathered at the St. Louis Police Officers Association office waiting for updates. That's where President Jay Schroeder went after visiting the hospital. I was driving home and, and I got the text that you know, I you know, never want to get was, you know, we had two policemen shot. This comes after two St. Louis police officers were injured in a car crash on I-64 on Monday. You get up every day and you put your uniform on, you go to work and your plan is to come home. And then when these things happen, it, it brings it all back to you that when I get up every day and I put my uniform on, I may not come home. That was the reality for more than 160 of the city's officers who died in the line of duty. A memorial with pictures of each one hangs inside the department's headquarters. And I think sometimes people don't quite understand that when they, you know, say defund the police or say some things like that. They don't really understand what these guys are out there doing every day. Now he and everyone in the department anxiously wait hoping the two officers who were shot recover. But it just seems uh, that our first responders in the city have been have been taking it on the chin here the last the last few weeks. And um, but these guys are resilient. Schroeder says that the St. Louis Police Association can offer assistance to families of officers who are killed or injured in the line of duty. Live in St. Louis, Pepper Baker, five on your side.